Yes, Devin Oysten pinpoints Arsenal's perfect a Spanish international replacement for Granite Xhaka. Arsenal transfer news is what we're talking about today. Hello everyone and thank you for being part of the Arsenal chapter. And please subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything that I've got to bring to you right about here at the Arsenal chapter with me, your very host, Abu Kals. As I'm telling you, if he has definitely been a great and David Einstein have been points Arsenal perfect Spanish international replacement for Granite Shaka and Arsenal transfer news today is what I am bringing on table to you. Arsenal definitely are looking at reinforcement in different fields you know a lot is happening when it comes to Arsenal and we know uh, a lot is happening uh, Calafiora has been in the news and who else has been in the news Nicole Williams uh, very heavy links to uh, the football club Arsenal welcome back welcome back to another thrilling episode and uh, uh, this is uh, an episode of transfer news uh, uh, today right about here at the uh, Arsenal chapter we have exciting news about Arsenal's search for a midfielder fee and uh, we are going to be talking about uh, a lot uh, right about here so uh, the fee has definitely been agreed is that true so David Einstein has uh, pinpointed Arsenal's uh, perfect Spanish international replacement for Granite Shaka in the Let's dive straight into it. So Arsenal are reportedly close to finalizing a deal uh, for Mikel Merino and the Spanish midfielder who has uh, been uh, impressing in La Liga. And we know that uh, with Granite Shaka's departure imminent, uh, very imminent, we know that he will definitely be leaving. Uh, Mikel Atit is keen uh, to bring a strong and versatile midfielder uh, to the midfield void. Uh, actually, to, uh, to the midfield to fill the void. So, uh, Merino, uh, who currently plays for rear uh, Soistad, appears to be the ideal candidate, you know. So, um, uh, for Mikel Merino's attributes uh, make him a perfect fit uh, for uh, Arsenal's midfield. And uh, uh, for, for uh, actually, uh, 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 known actually known for uh, I must say uh, uh, known for his defensive skills, area dominance, and uh, uh, and precise passing. Will be noted that Merino uh, has uh, has definitely been a standout performer in Europe's top 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 leagues. You know, so uh, really, uh, last season he won over three hundred duels and uh, uh, averaged uh, five point nine four. Uh, aerial deals and one per 90 uh, uh well actually aerial deals one per 90 minutes you know so making him one of the top performers uh in these categories and that's why he's seen as uh, one of the best at this moment in time so despite being uh 28 you know uh, which is slightly older than Arsenal's uh typical uh, transfer targets uh, merino uh definitely brings a wealth of experience and leadership qualities and uh, that Mikel Ateta really uh, values quite highly. And his previous stints in the Premier League uh, with Newcastle United adds another layer of appeal, uh, provide him, uh, providing him uh, with valuable experience in the English Premier League, as I've told you, uh, when it definitely happened when he was with when he was uh, with Newcastle United. I mean, if you bring a football player who's not been in the Premier League, sometimes he can disappoint, sometimes uh, he may not do what he definitely want, but uh, I mean, Merino has got the experience uh, of the Premier League. He knows what he's really getting into, and uh, that's what you need from your football player. That's what you need from a football player like Merino, Mikel Merino. Arsenal really is uh, into this deal uh, very, very, very um, uh, serious. This is a very, very serious deal for Arsenal, as uh, we know that Mikel Merino could end up at the football club Arsenal. So David Oinston, uh, a reputable journalist, has suggested that Arsenal should prioritize Merino you know, as their top choice, you know, for a midfield addition. And, uh, and I see why. And uh, uh, his experience, really. We've seen Arsenal get uh, big football players. We've seen Arsenal get uh, uh, young football players. And also we've seen Arsenal get the likes of uh, uh, Jogino, who is an experienced football player. And we definitely have seen uh, what Jogino has uh, brought on table for the football club Arsenal. And that is what we are thinking that uh, really uh, could be happening uh, for the football club Arsenal uh, with uh, Mikel. 
Mikel uh, Merino. Uh, so Mikel Merino is a bit experienced, really, uh, compared to uh, very many young football players. If he moves to the club, Arsenal uh, definitely brings a lot of experience. Uh, with Arsenal having a big uh, young squad, they also need uh, experienced football players, and uh, Merino will fill that gap. So uh, the deal is definitely, uh, 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 as, as I told you before, that Arsenal should, uh, the, uh, what, what the player really, no, the player what uh, what Winston said that Arsenal should prioritize Merino as the top choice uh, uh, for a midfielder addition. You know, for midfielder addition, uh, the deal which is uh, reportedly uh, worth uh, twenty five million is definitely seen as uh, uh, a smart investment. You know, uh, that won't heavily uh, 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 won't heavily dent Arsenal's uh, transfer budget. It won't strain him, allowing room for further signings and i think that is definitely what any club needs so ateta sees uh, merino as a player who can seamlessly uh, replace uh, granite shaka uh, offering uh, uh, improved defensive stability and the ability to contribute offensively and uh, his uh, versatility means uh, he can adapt uh, to various roles in the midfield providing arsenal with tactical flexibility so uh, I must say, uh, the negotiations have reached an uh, an advanced stage, and it's expected that uh, the I, the deal will definitely be finalized very soon. And Arsenal Arsenal fans can look forward to selling Merino uh, in the famous uh, red and white, adding uh, strength and uh, depth to uh, the midfield. And I must say, uh, it's going to be a very wonderful one. It's going to be a uh, quite a good one when we talk about Merino and him joining uh, Arsenal. Uh, but having talked about Merino, let's talk a little bit about uh, a deal that might, might, might happen. That is uh, really um, on everybody's mouth. Everybody talking about this uh, transfer. We are talking about uh, one of the best football players, one of the best defenders who could be uh, joining uh, the club Arsenal. Guess whom we are going to be uh, talking about? We're talking about Ricardo Calafiori. Ricardo Calafiori could be making that big move to the club Arsenal. Undoubtedly, he could be making that big move because Arsenal have uh, set him as the top target and number one target. If Arsenal has to get a football player, then he will get uh, the football player, uh, 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 Ricardo Calafiori. Calafiori has been making runs for the football club Arsenal. Uh, loads of uh, clubs interested in him, but he's really already turned down uh, 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 offers from different clubs. He's interested in making that big move to uh, the club Arsenal. So I will be noted that Mikel. Michael Ateta uh, had uh, uh, had uh, Michael Ateta also actually with uh, uh, the current technical and now sporting director of uh, 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 of Arsenal. Uh, we're talking about uh, Edu Gaspar. It is reported to say that they had a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with uh, the football player, and uh, things really uh, went on quite well, and everything is going on. Uh, very well. Uh, uh, Ateta had to convince the player and told him, you're going to get uh, first team football. You're going to get this and this. Everything will definitely be uh, sorted for you when it comes to uh, this transfer. When you come to Arsenal, when you get to Arsenal, things will be sorted uh, for you. You will have no worry. And also, I think he needs a bit of competition because he's, uh, he's not getting anywhere he is. That's why it's this big star that everybody's talking about. But uh, when it comes to the Premier League, uh, it definitely will get a bit uh, tricky. Uh, it will get a bit challenging. But it might not when he joins Arsenal, you know, uh, because uh, when uh, he's got uh, quite a big, num a, a big number of talented superstars uh, alongside with him, then he'll definitely make it as he's already been making it. So uh, I, I think uh, Arsenal are getting him uh, will definitely be a wise move, definitely. 100% uh, will be a wise move. Arsenal getting Ricardo Calafiori, uh, the wonderful uh, defender, the very big, uh, the very good defender. <coughs> and also, there's been something about Fadi uh, Kadioglu. There has been uh, something about Fadi Kadioglu who's been making rounds also with Fadi Kadioglu uh, saying that, uh, 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 making sure that with Arsenal making sure that they could sign Fadi Kadioglu, uh, I think uh, that also is a big statement on uh, what type of football players Arsenal is going for. We are talking about class and uh, really class football players. Anyway, 
Uh, stay tuned uh, to transfer news uh, uh, for transfer news today and uh, stay tuned for uh, uh, these transfer news right about here at uh, the Arsenal chapter for more updates as we definitely follow uh, this exciting transfer. Uh, will Merino be uh, the perfect replacement for Granite Shaka? Uh, can he help Arsenal achieve their ambitions next season? Do not forget to like, share and uh, uh, subscribe for all the latest transfer news. Otherwise, uh, thank you, and uh, I must say goodbye for now.